so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, we get to go on this really big boat! Whoa! It's enormous! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> hey, we made it onto the boat. <laughs> yeah, and this boat is awesome because it's not a regular boat. This is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here. Yeah, this is a really giant net. Woo! <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so silly. This brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vests. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah, but look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hat. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian, and he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. OK, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward, and that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. And this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat, and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> well, look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa, <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west in which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey! I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, and she's a real life marine biologist. Ooh, 
<laughs> Hi, Mackenzie. Hi. Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa, that sounds really, really important. <laughs> hey, well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. What's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa! Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa! Look at all his legs! <laughs> yeah! How many legs does he have? Whoa! Hey, let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa, that's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look. It looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving and our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them, but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa, so if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa, <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa, look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, whoa, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve. <laughs> Just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have oh. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with <laughs> the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own homes. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> he's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> ah, whoa, and it looks like, yeah, it's a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm gonna put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Whoa, <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa, 
Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa, operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm going to put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It hmm. is dirty. Cool. I just found this one. This one is fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. And they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn. And it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Ooh. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins but we're gonna make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat, because we always wanna be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian. Hey, Blippi. Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited to see some real dolphins. <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> so Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine, and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins. <laughs> yeah! Drove the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? Yeah! Hello! We see the dolphins! Look, it looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa! This is so cool! Whoa, look! They're so close! Hello! They're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. 
Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah! And they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup. <laughs> but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah! And they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo! <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah. He's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs and they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa, and come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah, see this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. Well, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So, when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, 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 I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. Start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here, <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go, it's already looking like the ocean, <laughs> and we want to make it look like the actual ocean, so we're going to put a little bit of blue food coloring, just one drop, one, 
and maybe we'll put a second one. Ooh, that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. All the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs in. Mm, yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's grab our animals and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa. Look, this one's like a little spiral shell? Hmm, then I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye! <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think that needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa! We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. <laughs> we wanna keep it nice and clean. So, we're gonna take some of this. Plumber's tape. Gonna just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then you can ask a grown up to use scissors, make a little cut, and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape. And you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa, look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay at the bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. We visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! This fire truck is so fast! <laughs> hey, it's 
me, Blippi. And today, we're here at the Kate and Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. And I am so excited because we get to learn about all kinds of things. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Come on, ring. There are so many fun things to explore. Let's go. Whoa, look at it. You know what it is? It looks like a garden <laughs> that's really fun to play in. Let's go inside. Look, there are so many different blocks and colors. Yeah, we have a blue cube <laughs> and hmm, a red rectangle. Ooh. <laughs> and we have a green cube. Whoa! <laughs> and they're so squishy and soft. Whoa! <laughs> they're so fun to play with. Woo! <laughs> it's a tunnel. I'm gonna go through the tunnel. See you on the other side. Ooh, ooh. That was a really small tunnel. <laughs> hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. This animal likes to go moo. <laughs> yeah, this, oh, this is a cow. Hello, <laughs> it's so cute. Whoa, look at what it is. Do you know what that is? <laughs> yeah, it's a giant rescue helicopter. <laughs> I think you and I should go inside and check it out. Come on. Place. It's so cool. Whoa. And this is the cockpit. <laughs> yeah. Inside this helicopter, there are all different controls of the helicopter. We have different levers and gears that tell you how fast you're going and if you have enough fuel. Whoa. <laughs> and there's all types of switches on the ceiling. <laughs> Whoa, I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, and look, there are also a lot of really colorful lights that tell you what's going on. Yeah, we have a really bright white light and a green light and a red light. <laughs> well, it's time to take off. Okay. That was so much fun riding in this helicopter. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Whoa, it's a giant fire truck. <laughs> Uh-oh, but it looks like it's missing part of its wheel. Hello, wheel. <laughs> Maybe we can find the other side. <laughs> oh, and there are so many cool levers. Yeah. Vehicles are amazing. Helicopters are kind of like fire trucks because they have different gauges, buttons that help control it and move really fast. <laughs> hey, I love the horn on a fire truck. Let's go inside and see if it works. I'm driving the fire truck. Make sure you buckle up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, that horn was really loud. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. It's a rescue boat. This rescue boat is on some really rocky waves. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> it's so much fun. And it's squishy. Whoa, the waves are going so fast and they're so huge. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
the water is nice and cool. Yeah, because it's made out of a ball pit. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is so amazing. I really am having so much fun playing with you today. Hey, and look at this. It looks kind of like a really big picture frame. Yeah, it's a big square. Hmm. And it has some pulleys and a steering wheel. When I move this steering wheel, whoa, it moves up and it makes bubbles. <laughs> Let's see if we can make the biggest bubble with this giant bubble blower. <laughs> was an amazing bubble, but it popped because that's what bubbles do. They get really big and then pop, <laughs> they pop. <laughs> this is so cool. It looks like mountains and oceans and there's a little shark. Ooh. <laughs> this shark is having a really fun time going through the ocean. It's so fast! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it did a big jump! Whoa! Whoa, and look at this! This is really cool. It's a submarine! <laughs> yeah! And it has its propeller that helps it move really fast underwater, and it looks like it has a scuba diver driving it. <laughs> Whoa, I think it's gonna swim with the shark too. <laughs> Look at this. See, when I press this big button, something really amazing and really wet is going to happen. Are you ready? Keep your eye over here and your eye over here. Here we go. I'm gonna press the button on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Did you see it? Whoa! Now let's press them really fast. Uh-oh, looks like they don't like to be pressed really fast. There are so many cool things to explore with water. There's so many boats. Whoa, look at all of the boats. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, we have one, two, green boats, and we have one, two, purple boats, and we have, well, we have one, two, three orange boats. <laughs> These are so cool. And if you have an orange boat and a blue boat, you have blippy boats. Woo! <laughs> This is so cool. There's all these different water wheels and water. <laughs> Whoa. And looks like we can take this little island and move it all around. <laughs> bye bye octopus. Hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> yeah, this right here is a sea turtle and it's so cute. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, look, I think I can get on the inside. Hello. Whoa, there's water all around me. <laughs> Woo. This is a really silly crab. There are so many animals. Whoa, but I think there's a really cool wall that we should go explore. <laughs> Let's go see what it is. This is a magnetic wall. Yeah, it's a giant wall that's magnetic, which means squares like this that have little magnets will stick to the wall. So if you take the square and you put it on the wall, no hands, whoa! 
<laughs> and sometimes the magnets are so strong, you can throw it and it stays by itself. Whoa. And you can make all kinds of cool shapes and pictures. Hmm. So let's see if we can make a picture. Move some of these out of the way. Start with a really big orange square. And we'll put it right there. And next, let's grab two more orange squares. What color should I use next? Hmm, we already used orange, so let's use blue. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go with one, two blue triangles. And let's grab two blue squares. And we're almost done, but I think we should make two use an orange and we'll use a blue one too. <laughs> yeah, it's a Blippi magnetic castle. King Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, and do you know what this is? Yeah, look at it. This right here, yeah, it's a gear. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Yeah. And when you take a gear and you put one gear next to another gear, when you turn this one, the other gear will turn too. And now the really fun part. When you take one gear connected to another gear, you have two gears moving. But if you connect those two gears to the, all the gears, then they all move together. <laughs> Teamwork is really fun, especially if you're a gear. Whoa. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's use a lot of teamwork with the gears. <laughs> Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> They're all moving together, but I'm only touching this one right here. See, they're moving and helping each other out. Whoa, super fast. <laughs> This is so much fun. This place is amazing. And look above us. It looks like there's a tunnel in the ceiling. <laughs> I have had so much fun, but I think you and I should go up into the tunnel. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Really tricky moving through these nets. <laughs> hey, I think it looks like there's a window over by the water area. Hey, look, it's a window. <laughs> Hello. And it looks like the water area is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. Huh, yeah, it's so cool because when we were down there, it just looked like some islands and some oceans and some water. But because we have a different perspective, yeah, a different perspective. That means a different way of seeing it or a different way of looking at it. Yeah, we see with our different perspective that it actually is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. It's so wobbly. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> so silly. Wow, we crossed over the yellow bridge. And now we're all the way on the other side. Okay. This is so cool. It's a giant purple triangle. <laughs> yeah, because look, the triangle has three sides. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look over here. 
Hello, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Oh, hi there, Blippi. Uh, my name is the amazing Andres. Ooh, nice to meet you, Andres. <laughs> Whoa, are you juggling? Oh yeah, I am juggling, all right. Whoa. Andres is really good at juggling. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind, Blippi. You know, it's actually not that hard to juggle three balls. It just takes a lot of practice. Ooh, you know, practice. Great <laughs> things start off with one ball, okay. like so. See, catching it good, and then when I'm ready. I'll go two, huh. and Whoa. then when I feel really good, I'll throw in a third ball. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> well, Andres, that is so cool. But what else do you do here? Oh, I do all kinds of fun stuff. I get to spend most of my time coming up with really cool ways for people to have fun here at this museum. <laughs> well, that's really good because <laughs> we want to have lots of fun too. Hmm. <laughs> well, is there anything fun that we could do? You know, I got something perfect for you. Ooh. You like to make art? Yeah, I love making art. Hey, maybe we could make an art project. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> got just the thing. Come over here, we'll go to the art crawl room. Okay. You're gonna wanna step in here first. Thank you, Andres. All right. All right, here we go. Look at where I am. We're inside of an art studio. Whoa, this place is so cool. And look at all the things that are here. We have all kinds of different paint where we can paint really beautiful pictures and make really cool artwork. Hmm. We have some pink paint and a lot of colors actually. Some black paint. Ooh. <laughs> And we have some green, ooh, and it's got some confetti in it, whoa. <laughs> and it looks like we have a lot of other colors. Hmm. We have, oh, this paint is gold and it's really shiny. <laughs> Maybe we can think of something really beautiful to paint with this gold paint. Hmm. But first, we need something to use as a paintbrush. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, <laughs> I have a brush and some paint and now we just need to think about what should we paint? Well, you can start with something really easy. Maybe make a gold smiley face. <laughs> One eye, two eyes, and a really big smile. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. Since we can paint all over this room, let's see how much we can cover and paint. Okay, I'm gonna paint all over the room. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna need two rollers and a lot of paint. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, now let's do it with some pink paint. Okay. Painting is so fun. <laughs> Especially when you can paint all over the place. <laughs> and get a little messy. But just make sure when you're painting, it's paper you're painting on and not the actual walls. <laughs> yeah, I like to paint on the paper, but not on the actual wall. <laughs> This was so much fun painting with you. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun playing with you here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. P-L-I-P-P-I. Hi, Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today 
We are here at the Rhythm Discovery Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> this place is the world's only interactive percussion and drum museum. And I am so excited to go inside and learn all about drumming. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you hear that? It sounds like someone's already drumming. <laughs> Let's go see who it is. Come on. Nice to meet you, what's your name? Rob. Oh, Rob, you are really good at drumming. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're looking to learn all about drums today, but I've never seen a drum that looks like this. Oh, well this is called a log drum because it's made out of wood. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. How does it work? So it has these two tongues cut into it that you play with these mallets. <laughs> Do you want to try it? <gasps> I would love to try. <laughs> okay. We're gonna use these mallets and play on the tongues. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, the log drum's pretty fun. That was great. Do you wanna see some other instruments? Whoa, I would love to. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll take those. And let's uh, let's go further into the museum. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. This looks like a really, really, really big drum. <laughs> it is. What is this one called? It's called a gong drum. A gong drum? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Do I use this mallet to play the gong drum? You do. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's really fun playing a gong because a really big gong drum makes a really big sound. <laughs> Oh, thanks for showing me this. You're welcome. <laughs> so you played a couple instruments now. Do you want to learn how to keep a beat? Oh, well, what's a beat? A beat is a rhythm that plays in the background of other music that repeats over and over again. Whoa, yeah, I'd like to play a beat. <laughs> okay, well, let's try a really easy one. We'll do this by clapping our hands. Okay. So we're going to clap and we're going to count up to four. We're going to do it twice. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Count to four with us and we'll clap and make beats together. All right, ready? I'm ready. One, one two. Three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> Do you want to try it on the drum? Yeah. You can make beats on a drum? Absolutely. Give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> Let's make the beats on a drum. You can do it with clapping at home. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Making beats is a lot of fun especially with a big drum. <laughs> wow. I never knew drums had so many different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Are all drums made out of wood and material like this? No, I have a bunch of instruments over here made out of metal. Do you want to see them? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> all right, let's oh. do it. I'll take this. Oh, look at it. Yeah, all of these drums are made out of metal. Uh, but. They don't really look like drums. <laughs> oh, these are part of a bigger family of instruments called percussion instruments. Whoa, well, what's a percussion instrument? Percussion instruments are anything, any instruments that we play by hitting, shaking, or scraping. Oh, so percussion means it's an instrument that you hit, <laughs> shake, whoa, or scrape. <laughs> That's exactly right. Wow. Whoa, and what are these instruments' names? Oh, yeah, so we have a desk bell like you would see in a fancy old hotel. Ooh, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have cowbells there in the back. Oh, cowbells, like the animal? Yeah, you put them around their necks so they don't get lost. Oh, you don't want to lose your cow. <laughs> uh, we have altar bells, which are used in old churches. Oh, that's cool. They're so shiny. <laughs> oh, and Rob, what's that instrument in the back? That instrument back there is called a thumb piano or a kalimba. A kalimba? Kalimba. Kalimba. <laughs> kalimba. Kalimba. <laughs> that one's fun to say. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. Those are some pretty amazing percussion instruments. <gasps> Do you want to try this one back here? Ooh, that one's another really big one. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> wow. What's this instrument called? This instrument is called a tam-tam. Whoa. Hey. And look at this. It has a big mallet just like the gong drum. Hmm, 
and the Tam Tam is big just like the Gong Drum 2, huh? But is there something different about this one? Yeah, it's made entirely out of metal. Whoa. It's just like the Gong Drum, but because it's made of metal, maybe it'll sound different. <laughs> Can I play it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Tam Tam! Tam Tams are really, really loud. <laughs> Can I hit it again? Maybe this time a little softly. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! There are so many amazing percussion instruments made out of wood and metal. Hey, can you show us some more instruments? Sure, come with me. <laughs> I can't wait to keep drumming. Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> there are so many amazing instruments. Rob, where are we? We're in an exhibit called Evolving Sounds, where I keep instruments from all over the world and from different styles of music. Whoa, they look so cool. Wow, and this one's really big. <laughs> What's this instrument called? This instrument's called a vibraphone. Do you want to hear how it sounds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds so beautiful and spacey. <laughs> wow, and it kind of looks like a piano. Yeah, it has bars here that kind of look like the white keys on a piano and bars here that look like the black keys. <laughs> Libby, I know you play a little bit. You want to try? Okay, <laughs> let's try playing the vibraphone. <laughs> here we go. I really like the vibraphone because it can make beautiful music or silly sounds. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and Rob, is this also a vibraphone? Yes, this is actually a very special vibraphone. It's got a, it's got its own name. It's called the Celestophone, Ooh. and it's actually made out of meteorites or space rocks. Whoa! No way! That's so cool. Look, it's just like the other vibraphone, except this vibraphone is really sparkly and reflective, kind of like a mirror. <laughs> hey, I can see myself. <laughs> wow. Would you play a song for us? Sure. <laughs> You're really good at playing a lot of instruments. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was so cool hearing the Celestophone. <laughs> oh, I think I know what this other instrument is. Oh yeah? It's a drum. <laughs> oh yeah, this is one of my favorite drums. This is called a snare drum. Whoa. You've probably seen it if you've ever seen a parade. Wow, <laughs> could you play it for us so we can hear out sounds? Absolutely. I love a snare drum. It sounds so cool, like I'm in a marching band, marching along. <laughs> Ooh, and I know what these are too. Oh yeah? These are cymbals. <laughs> Crash cymbals, but I didn't know they were percussion instruments. Yeah, because you hit them together. <laughs> oh yeah. If something is hit together, or you scratch it, or you shake it, it's percussion. <laughs> you mind if I crash these cymbals? Please. Here we go. It's going to be really loud. <laughs> Whoa, that was really loud. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you play the snare drum, and I'll play the crash cymbals, and we can be a band. That sounds great. Let's try it out. Okay, here we go. <laughs> We played together. <laughs> hey, we were a band. Yeah. 
that's when people play music together. <laughs> wow, well, thank you for teaching us about these amazing instruments and <laughs> playing the snare drum with me. Oh, I played the cymbals. <laughs> well, are there other instruments we can learn to play? Sure, let's go this way. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at this place. It's so cool. There are so many percussion instruments and drums. <laughs> yeah, Blippi, this is Groove Space. So this is a place where you can take any instrument you want and play whatever kind of music you feel like. <laughs> Good, well, I feel like playing all kinds of music today. <laughs> all right, well, I actually have to go practice. Do you want to stay here and play a bit? Yeah, that sounds great. You go practice and I'll play with some of the drums and instruments. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. I'll see you soon. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to play some fun drums and percussion instruments, but do have one problem. Hmm, which one should I play first? <laughs> You'll just have to decide. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of drums. Whoa, look at this. There are drums that are really big. And this one is a circle. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. But drums, they come in all sizes and shapes like this. <laughs> yeah, this one right here. Look, it's a rectangle. <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle with four sides, two of them are a little longer, so it's not a square, it's a rectangle. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm, and what else should we play with? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, have you seen one of these before? <laughs> this is a shaker. You just go on the side with your hand and shake. <laughs> Whoa. We have a small shaker, but if you want, we also have Really big shakers! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wow! Yeah, this one's kind of silly looking. <laughs> yeah, it's covered in beads and is the color red and black. <laughs> but the shaker under it is the color white. <laughs> Whoa! I wonder what things we can use to make beats and really fun drum sounds. Whoa, look at this! <laughs> This instrument, it kind of looks like a drum, but it has all these little things on the side. Yeah, so when you shake it, <laughs> it jingles and rattles. <laughs> this is a tambourine. Whoa, <laughs> and I love playing tambourines. They make such a fun sound. That is so much fun, playing all kinds of drums and percussion instruments. But we should probably find Rob. Hmm. good at playing drums. <laughs> Thanks, Blippi. Whoa, what kind of drum is this? This is a drum set, so it's a bunch of drums that you play as one instrument. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many drums and cymbals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks really cool. <laughs> Do you want to give it a shot? I would love to give it a shot. All right. <laughs> Sounds so fun. <laughs> Whoa. There you go. Oh, so first I need my drumsticks. And do I sit here? Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> all ready to play. Uh, but Rob, do you have some tips on playing a drum set? Yeah, do you remember the counting we did earlier when we were clapping? Yeah, remember? We counted, clapped our hands, and made beats. <laughs> All right, so this time, your right hand is gonna do exactly what we did when we clapped earlier. It's gonna play one, two, three, four. <laughs> and then your left hand is actually gonna uh, stay in the same time, but it's just gonna play on two and four. Oh, cool. Okay, we're gonna play on this right here with our right hand and go one, two, three, four, but only play on two and four with their left hand. <laughs> but the tricky part is doing it at the same time. <laughs> Let's start one at a time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and now just two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and now together. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
<laughs> That's really fun. That was great. Well, I don't want to just play the drum set. I want to rock! <laughs> Oh, well, thank you for the tips, Rob. It You're was welcome. so much fun learning about drums and percussion instruments and showing us around today. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I do have one more thing we could do, though. One more thing? Yeah, I have some friends coming over to play music. Would you like to join us? Oh, I would love to join you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is my buddy, Blippi. Whoa, hello. This looks like an awesome drum circle. <laughs> Is it okay if I drum with you? What do you guys think? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! All right. Okay. Oh, I think we're ready to start. All right. I think we've done this a couple times. <laughs> Let's ready? try this. Can we do an impression of a thunderstorm? Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Let's start. The wind is picking up. Ooh. I'm starting to hear a little bit of rain. Can you use your fingers? Starting to hear a little more rain. It's a lot of rain! Thunder! Ah! Alright! It's just raining a little bit now. Really quiet rain. Oh, it's getting a little heavier. And a little louder. Okay. All right, do you guys want to try to play a rhythm together? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Uh, I'll play it once and you guys play it back to me. We'll try it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was great. Let's try it together. learning all about drums, percussion, and being in my very first drum circle. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I got something for you if you want to keep playing drums after you leave. Really? I would love something yeah. to keep playing drums. All right, there you go. Whoa, my very own drumsticks. <laughs> Give them a try. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, they light up. They're my favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> well, thank you, Rob. You're uh, welcome. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, I had so much fun with you learning about drums and percussion instruments here at the Rhythm Discovery Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> hey, what was your favorite instrument that we played today? Really? I like that one too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. Okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Oh, and I need to do some more drumming. <laughs>
much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi! I just finished writing a lot of invitations for a party next week. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I'm excited because I'm going to make a really yummy dinner. <laughs> Can you guess what I'm going to make for dinner? I'll give you a hint. Hmm. It has a lot of toppings and can be made really big so a lot of people can share it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm going to have a pizza party. <laughs> and I know the perfect place that we can learn how to make pizza. Oleo pizza. <laughs> Come on. This is going to be so much fun. I'll see you there. Hey, it's me, Plippy. And today we're here in our real life pizza kitchen. Yeah. So we're gonna learn how to make pizza. Oh, I'm so excited. But first things first, we gotta put on our gloves. So here we go. One. And we'll put on another one. <laughs> here we go. Great. We got our gloves on and we're all ready to make some pizza. Hey, uh, what's your name? Hey, my name is Michael. Uh, hi, Michael. Uh, can you teach us how to make some pizza today? Yes, no problem. I want to teach how to make the pizza. Oh, okay. Okay, the first thing you need to take the spatula. Okay. Flour. Okay. And this is the dough, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, you need to put a, a little bit of flour in the top. You take it out the dough, and you put again in the flour, okay? Okay. After that, you need to split a little bit of flour in the, in the flour. You push a little bit, you take it out the, the air. Oh, After okay. that, you need to shape a little bit. Push it. Nice. <laughs> and you start shaping. Ooh, it's so stretchy and stringy. <laughs> yeah. Shape it, shape it, shape it. And when it's almost done, you need to put again right here. Whoa. You're really good at making pizza, Michael. Yeah. After that, you need to put tomato sauce. <gasps> oh! This is the sauce. Whoa! Look at that! With a spoon. <laughs> you need to put the shaver right here. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! After that, you need to put the cheese. Okay, cheese. And this is a Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese! It's so good, yes! And this is a mozzarella cheese. Mmm, yummy! Oh. So and then... Fresh basil. Oh, fresh basil! <gasps> You cut Ooh, it out. So yummy! Nice. And the small oh. pieces. <laughs> Make it nicely. Ooh. And a uh, cherry heirloom tomatoes. Ooh, tomatoes! Mm. After that, you need to put like olive oil. Okay. <gasps> and that's the pizza ready for the oven. Oh, yeah! That pizza looks so yummy. <gasps> this pizza goes to the oven, okay? Yeah. <laughs> now, you wanna make food? yeah, can I make okay, a pizza no, no too? Okay, here take we go. Take the flour. Take the flour. Put the flour on the top. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> take so, it. Yeah. Here we go. Nice, we put in the flour. We'll put it in the yeah. flour. Play with the dough. <laughs> kind of sticky. Here we go. And we're gonna take it out again. Take it out. We should take it out the, the air. Yeah. Okay. We'll push all the air out and the bubbles out of the pizza dough. Whoa! Ooh, it's so stringy. Woo! <laughs> so silly. Okay. Here we go. Keep pushing out all those bubbles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Keep doing it. Do it do Keep it, pushing it. it out. A little bit, yeah. Mm. You can flip a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Whoa! It's starting to look just like a pizza. Whoa! This is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. Whoa! A little bit more. <laughs> you are really good at this. <laughs> Whoa! You can put tomato sauce inside. Yeah. You can put Whoa. tomato. Look at this. This is really yummy tomato sauce. Whoa! <laughs> okay, now let's put the tomato sauce on the pizza. Here we go. Whoop. And then we're gonna mix it around. Okay. Parmesan cheese. Nice. And now we have our Parmesan cheese. So yummy. Ooh. Put a little on there. And the mozzarella cheese. And we got some mozzarella. 
Oh, whoa. This cheese is really cool because it's in all kinds of shapes. Do you know what kind of shape this mozzarella cheese is? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a triangle. Okay, so I'll put some of those little triangles and squares. Hmm, put some more squares. More squares. <laughs> Whoa, right, okay. After that, you need to put the basil a little bit. Um, some basil. Fresh basil. Fresh basil, yummy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of basil. <laughs> yeah, and uh, olive oil on the top. And a little bit of olive oil, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> so silly. And that's the margarita bit, so you can put the tomatoes too. Okay, we'll put a couple tomatoes that have been chopped in half that are also really yummy. We'll put those on top. <gasps> and now the pizza is almost ready to go in the oven. <laughs> awesome. That's it. Well, Very Michael, easy. thank you so much for Michael. teaching me how to make a pizza. <laughs> yeah, and thank you for helping me make some yummy, yummy pizza. <laughs> Good job. Now, let's go put these pizzas into the oven. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. <gasps> you, need to, you move a little bit, because you sure you're not stuck in the pizza. And uh, you put into the oven. Whoa, it's really hot in this oven. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be all done. <laughs> let's go put the other pizza Let in. Let me put the other one. Yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> This. Ooh. Make sure the toppings oh. is good. Whoa! Whoa! Look at it! Man. There's a big fire inside this pizza oven. It's really, really hot, and uh, it you helps wait to like cook the pizza. You wait like 30 seconds after that, you can flip the pizza, okay? <laughs> Ooh. Well, now all we have to do is wait for the pizza to get done. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a pizza dance. Here we go. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> okay, it looks like the pizza is almost ready. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. The pizza almost done, almost done. is almost done. The pizza was really small, but because the dough has flour and yeast, when it gets really hot, the dough begins to rise and it becomes a delicious pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning how to make pizza at Oleo Pizza. It was so delicious. Hey, did you know that pizza originally came from Italy? <laughs> yeah. And it makes me really want to learn how to speak Italian. So, I invited my good friend Francesca over. <laughs> I think that's her. Hello? Hi, Puppy. Hi, Francesca. <laughs> I'm so excited to learn Italian. We just learned how to make pizza. Do you think you could teach us some Italian? Si, certo. Whoa, <laughs> that was Italian. <laughs> and I said, of course. Ooh, I'm so excited to learn. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. So, first, maybe we should learn our numbers. Okay, let's count to five together. Okay, here we go. Zero. 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 zero <laughs> uno. Uno. One. Due. Due. Two. Ooh. <laughs> tre. Tre. Three. Cuatro. Cuatro. Ooh. <laughs> Which is four. Cinque. Cinque. Whoa. Five. Whoa. We did it. We counted to five. <laughs> okay. So we learned how to count in five to five in Italian. Maybe we can learn how to say our colors. <laughs> Rosso. Rosso. Red. Verde. Verde. Green. Ooh. <laughs> Giallo. Giallo. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> And your two favorite colors. Orange and blue. Yes. Arancione. Arancione. Orange. Orange. And, <laughs> and blue. 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 <laughs> Whoa. That was so awesome. But I still feel a little bit hungry. Hmm. Maybe Francesca can teach us some food. Okay. 
So, cibo. Cibo. Food. Ooh. <laughs> Aqua. Aqua. Water. Water. <laughs> Pane. Pane. Bread. <laughs> Torta. Torta. Cake. Cake. I love cake. Especially birthday cake. Do you like cake too? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Pizza. 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 <laughs> well, that one was pretty easy. Well, thanks so much for teaching us Italian, Francesca. You're welcome, Blippi. Hey, will you dance the pizza dance with us? Of course. <laughs> yeah. And you can dance along too. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited to do the pizza dance with you. Okay, stand up and dance along with us. <laughs> yeah. Step into my kitchen for a very tasty treat. With saucy sauce and cheesy cheese, these flavors can't be beat. Your mouth will start to water when you see what we can make. A little piece of Italy, the most delicious bake. Grab some dough, roll that dough, and toss it in the air. Then take a scoop of saucy sauce and spread it everywhere. Don't forget your toppings, extra cheese, sure sounds nice. Open wide and take a bite of a warm, delicious slice. That was awesome! Woo! Great job! It was so much fun, Blippi. Thank you for having me here. Oh. It was so nice to have you. And thank you for dancing along and learning with us. Bye, Francesca. Bye, everyone. Bye, Blippi. That was so awesome! <laughs> we learned about so much today. How to make pizza, how to speak Italian. <laughs> it was great! Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, let's spell it together. B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Flippy, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum! <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then, let's grab the snacks, and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John! Hey! Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good, welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you, what are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers, oh. and these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello flamingos. Hey, wow, these flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa. That is so cool. 
And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. Whoa, another great animal. This place is awesome. Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk. Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah, so why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Another cute animal. Whoa, this is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa, Eduardo is a three-banded armadillo. Whoa, and it looks like He's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably gonna think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three-banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey, do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute. And his fingernails are so long, or toenails. And he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go. Whoa, check it out. Look, this is a hawk. But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Paris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, shh, looks so sharp. 
Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa! Check out Cisco! Wow! Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow, and Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night, but Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa, that is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow, do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa. Look at her, just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Wow, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> wow, check it out. This is blue and blue is a blue tongue skink. <laughs> she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs, <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard. Whoa, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey. They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle, but these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert, yeah. Whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Whoa, hello penguin. Hey, did you see that? That was a cute penguin. Whoa, hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah. I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P Flippy, good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's 
me, Blippi. And today, we're here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a safari is? <laughs> yeah, it's an outdoor adventure where you can see all kinds of amazing animals. <laughs> and today is a really special day because we're going to search for a platypus. Yeah, this is the only place that you can see a platypus outside of Australia. <laughs> I am so excited. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, I am so excited to go on a wildlife safari. <gasps> and we get to ride in this amazing vehicle. It's called a caravan. <laughs> Look at it. It has really big tires and wheels and shocks. <laughs> yeah, that's so if we hit any bumps or holes in the ground, we'll be nice and smooth riding on the back. <laughs> oh, and it's Karen, the driver. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Whoa, and look, there are so many amazing things on a caravan. We have gas tanks and <laughs> a barrel for water. Whoa, and look at this. It's the back of the caravan. <laughs> yeah, this, this right here, that's where we're gonna sit. So let's go sit inside. <laughs> oh, it's a person. Let's go say hi. Hi. Hi, Blippi. It's me, Blippi. <laughs> um, what's your name? Uh, my name's Marco. I'm a wildlife care specialist here at the safari park. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Marco. Well, we are really excited to go on a safari. All Can right. you sit inside? Yeah, definitely, let's go. <laughs> Let's follow Marco. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. There is a canopy over our heads. Yeah, so keep us dry and away from the sun. And so many seats. Woo. <laughs> we're ready for a safari. All right, we're almost there. Actually, all you need is special safari gear. And look, we got some for you right here. Oh, look at that. Special safari gear? Whoa! Safari gear is so much fun. <laughs> Look, we have binoculars. Oh, we're seeing really far away. Woo! <laughs> and uh, we have a hat to keep the sun out of our eyes. <laughs> and don't forget to drink lots of water. <laughs> okay. It looks like we're all geared up and ready for the safari. <laughs> all right, excellent, you look great. All right, Karen, we're ready to go. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> you see what kind of animal this is? <laughs> Oh, they are giraffes, <laughs> and they are so cute. <laughs> oh, it is so much fun being on a safari. <laughs> hmm, do you see that one giraffe? Look, it's really small. Huh. Hmm. Marco, why is that one giraffe so much smaller than the others? You know, that giraffe, Lippy, is actually one of our newest babies. She's 16 days old. Oh, it really is a baby. <laughs> How tall is the giraffe? Oh, well, you know, they can grow throughout their lifetime, actually. So she is about six feet at the moment, but she's going to keep growing. This is the tallest mammal on planet Earth. Whoa, <laughs> this baby giraffe is a baby, but it's as tall as me. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, they're so, so pretty and so tall. <laughs> hey, it looks like they have these little things on their head. <laughs> it looks like hair or little horns. What are those? Yeah, actually, they're called ossicones, actually. Ossicones? Whoa, <laughs> that's a really cool word. What's an ossicone? Oh, think of it sort of like, like horns for a giraffe, basically. Oh, wow. Those ossicones are pretty cool. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. Do you see what colors they are? Yeah, it looks like they're a golden brown and white. <laughs> yeah. 
They have a really interesting pattern all over them. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hmm. It also looks like they have big ears. Can giraffes hear really well? They do, they hear very, very well, and eyesight's pretty amazing too. You know, there's other predators out there where they mm -hmm. live, so they gotta watch out. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. They can hear really well and see all over the safari. Oh. <laughs> I think giraffes are so amazing. <laughs> oh. Hello, giraffe. <laughs> oh, look, that giraffe, he's looking at us. I think he's just checking us out. Oh, he's saying, hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Whoa, they also have funny looking mouths. What kind of food does a giraffe eat? You know, they love leaves, plant material, especially having such a long neck, eating all the plants at the very tops of the trees. Oh, oh that makes sense. Yeah, giraffes are really tall with really long necks, so they can eat the tops of trees. <laughs> wow, giraffes sure are pretty amazing. Hmm, but they're not a platypus. Hmm, let's keep looking for some other amazing animals. Maybe we'll find a platypus. <laughs> you won't believe what really cool animal Marco and I found on our safari. Come look. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. What kind of animal is this? Oh, these are called fringe eared oryx. Whoa, fringe eared oryx. Never heard of an animal like that before. Whoa, you see, they have really big horns on their head. Kind of like a unicorn, but instead of one horn, they have one, two horns. <laughs> wow, they're amazing. Oh, whoa. And look, they have kind of funny markings on their face. They do. Yeah, right now, we think that's actually to help them ward off predators out there. It's almost like having a permanent Halloween mask. Whoa, <laughs> sounds spooky. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Ooh, they're so cool. And they're, they're pretty big. Can, can these oryx run fast? Oh, they can run very fast. I mean, they <laughs> need to to get away from predators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, just a family of oryx. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, and do you see? Their ears are so funny. They have dots in the middle of their ears. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like an eye. <laughs> That's a really good observation. That's what we think they have them for, to help confuse predators out there so they can't sneak up and surprise them. Whoa, these orcs look really smart. That is so cool. Huh. Whoa, <laughs> they're just hanging out, being friendly. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. Hello! <laughs> oh, these orcs were really interesting, but they're still not a platypus. <laughs> Let's keep looking! <laughs> Blippi, come look at these guys. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at what animal Marco found. Whoa, <laughs> they're so big. <laughs> Marco, what kind of animal is this? Uh, you're looking at a southern white rhino. Wow, a southern white rhino. <laughs> you see, look, they have really big horns. Whoa. <laughs> Why does a rhino like this have a big horn? Yeah, those horns help them protect themselves out there in Africa against all those predators out there. Wow, it is so cool and so big. <laughs> Whoa, and look, look, they have really teeny tiny eyes, but they have really big noses. <laughs> hmm, I bet that means they have a really good sense of smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Pulpy. That's a good observation. You know, these animals, excellent sense of smell. Really, really good hearing as well. You see how those ears can move around all about so they can always hear what's going on around them. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Their ears are so fuzzy. Whoa, <laughs> look, you see all the little hairs and fuzzy parts? <laughs> Rhinos are so cute. Oh, and so hungry. Oh, 
Do they like to eat anything else other than hay? Oh, they love the all sorts of plant material. They love grass game. These guys can weigh three to 4,000 pounds, sometimes even more. So they gotta eat all that food. Whoa, three to 4,000 pounds? <laughs> That's a lot of hay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> well, they sure do like eating. Yeah, and they are really big. <laughs> hey, do you know what color these rhinos are? Yeah, they're the color gray. <laughs> I bet they stay cool because is there dirt on their backs? That's absolutely right. Yeah, they love to wallow out there, get some mud on their backs, it helps <laughs> with sunblock like that safari hat you were wearing. They don't oh. need the hat, they got their mud. Wow, it's so amazing. Yeah, they roll around in the dirt and they stay cool. Yeah, they have dirt, dust on their back, kind of like my official safari hat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Well, I think we should see some more animals, Marco. Yeah, I think you're right. These rhinos, they're not platypuses. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks, Marco, for taking us on an awesome safari. <laughs> yeah, no problem, let's go see some more animals. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whew, looking for a platypus is hard work. I've been running so fast. Hey. Do you know what other animal likes to run really fast? <laughs> yeah, a cheetah likes to run really fast. They are the fastest land animal and they can run up to 70 miles per hour <laughs> and reach speeds of 40 miles per hour in three steps. Whoa, <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I race a cheetah? <laughs> yeah. Let's see who will win the race. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see how fast that cheetah was? <laughs> it was amazing. Well, better keep looking for this platypus. I'm so excited to see this snake. What kind of snake is this? This is called a Burmese python. Whoa, this Burmese python is so big. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what's its name? Uh, this is Julius Squeezer. Julius Squeezer, <laughs> so silly. That's a cool name. Oh, this snake is amazing. And look, it has this really pretty pattern with all types of different shades of brown and white and gold. <laughs> Why is it colored like this? Yeah, well, this helps him get his food up in the wild. So this is what we call a sit and wait predator. So that's exactly what he does. He sits, he blends in with all the leaf litter and just waits until something yummy walks by and then he got sacked for that day. Woo! <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Hmm. Oh, Julia Squeezer. <laughs> How's it going? Hello? Whoa. Hey, it looks like he's looking at us now. <laughs> Whoa, he keeps poking his tongue out. Why is Julia Squeezer doing that? <laughs> you know, he's actually tasting the air. So he has an organ in his mouth called the Jacobson's organ, which helps him actually detect prey. So he can pick up set particles in the air to help follow his prey out there. Whoa, that is really amazing. <laughs> it sure would be silly if I was walking around with my tongue out. <laughs> I'm not a snake. <laughs> Whoa, but this snake is so cool. Hmm. Huh. What type of snake is this? A Burmese python. And you know, the differences between the python and the boa, sometimes people get them confused. Oh yeah, yeah. python and boa. Yeah. Whoa, what's the difference between a python and a boa? Well, that's a great question, but you know, pythons are generally found in the old world. So Asia, Africa, Australia, Ooh. plus they lay eggs. Now the boa can be found in the old world and the new world, but what boas do instead, they carry their eggs inside of them. So people tend to call it a live birth, but really they're just keeping their eggs inside. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, Julia Squeezer is so friendly. He keeps saying hello. <laughs> wow, snakes are so amazing. They're so good at moving, even though they don't have any arms or legs. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, hello. 
<laughs> oh. I'd like to give you a hug, but I feel like they have a really powerful hugs. <laughs> they really do. Yeah, this predator is a constrictor, so he mm -hmm. just holds his prey super, super tight. And that's a good thing you noted too, actually, Blippi. You know, these animals, uh, Julius, he's an ambassador. He represents his wild brothers and sisters, but we definitely want the kids out there to know you don't want to be handling a wild snake like this. We are trained professionals here at the safari park. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be handling a snake like this without a professional wildlife care specialist. <laughs> like my good friend Marco. Oh, <laughs> but he sure is beautiful. Wow. Hello. <laughs> he likes my shoe quite a bit. <laughs> he does. <laughs> What's well, a pretty nice shoe, I gotta say. <laughs> Whoa. Well, thanks so much for saying hello, Julia Squeezer. Bye bye. <laughs> hey. What other animals will we be able to see today? Oh, next we're gonna show you one of my favorite birds, the fastest animal on planet Earth. Oh, the fastest animal alive? Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to see the next animal ambassador. <laughs> We saw so many amazing animals. Uh, what animal are we gonna see next? Yo, one of my favorites, his name is Nelson, called the Lanner Falcon. Ooh, Nelson, and he's a falcon. <laughs> wow, does he fly in the air and he's, he, is he pretty fast? Oh, very fast. They broke the record fastest animal on the planet over 240 miles per hour. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you a hunting flight. Wow, I can't wait to see the hunting flight. 240 miles per hour, that's faster than a car. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to see the hunting flight. All right. Okay, keep your eyes open for Nelson. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh. oh, look, Marco is swinging around some meat. Okay. Nelson, good boy. Good. Good. Whoa, did you see that? Whoa. Nelson caught the meat midair. That's pretty amazing. Hey, let's go take a closer look. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to see Nelson up close. Birds, they're pretty amazing. And this bird is so powerful and so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. So beautiful. Well, right now we want to wait because Nelson is finishing up his meal. <laughs> but we'll be able to see him real soon. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. He's on Marco's glove. Yeah, that glove helps to protect his hand because Nelson has really sharp, powerful talons. <laughs> Whoa, look, Marco's coming this way. We should go say hi, but we need to be careful. We don't want to scare Nelson. <laughs> so he's just finishing his food right now. Whoa. <laughs> we'll get him a little closer for you, but so that was just an example of the amazing hunting flight that they do out there. Wow, Nelson is a really amazing bird. Oh, he's so beautiful. His eyes look so big. Can he see really well? well they see so well. He can see over a mile away, especially when you're flying in the air. That's a really good tool to have. Wow, that is one amazing bird. <laughs> well. We better let Nelson finish his lunch. <laughs> hey, maybe we can see some more birds. Yeah, that sounds great, Bobby. I'll see you there. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, that was amazing. We saw so many different ambassador animals. And now we get to see even more birds. <laughs> let's go meet up with Marco. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're still looking for a platypus. But <laughs> Nelson was such an amazing animal. I want to see what other birds Marco works with. <laughs> oh, hey, and there's Marco. Hi, Marco. <laughs> hey, Blippi. 
Marco, what other animals do you have to show us today? Uh, well, I want to show you more raptors, just like Nelson, but he hunts in a different way, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't wait to see this bird. That was amazing! Marco, what kind of animal was that? Oh, that was a secretary bird. So just like Nelson, the lantern falcon, both found in Africa, and both raptors, but they hunt in a very different way. So I'm so happy to share that with you. And not only that, he's a pretty big raptor, but raptors come in all different shapes and sizes. So we have another one we're gonna show you right now. Follow me this way. Okay. Whoa, I wonder what bird we'll see next. <laughs> that bird was so big! <laughs> come on! Hmm. Keep your eyes out for another bird. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hello. Hi. Whoa, that last bird was so big. But this looks like a really teeny tiny owl. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, what kind of owl is this? She is called an Eastern Screech Owl. Wow. This owl is so tiny. <laughs> Who would have thought? There are really big birds and really small birds. Whoa! The feathers are so amazing and beautiful. Hmm. Do these feathers remind you of another animal we saw today? <laughs> yeah. Just like the snake. Yeah. Look. Hmm. This little owl has camouflage feathers so she can blend in with the tree. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's this owl's name? Her name is Rue. Whoa. Hi, Rue. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa. Her eyes are really big. <laughs> Why's that? Right? So she is a nocturnal predator. That means she hunts at night. So she's going to use those really big eyeballs to help her see really well at nighttime. Help her catch her little prey item. Whoa. You remember that word? Yeah. Nocturnal. That means they're not awake in the day like us, but they're awake at night. <laughs> wow, Rue is so amazing. <laughs> yep. Well, all the birds we've learned about really like eating meat. Do all birds eat meat? Actually, no, Blippi. We have some animals that are omnivores that like eating two different things, meat and plant material. And we got one to share with you right now. Oh, wow, yeah. that's amazing. An omnivore eats meat like a carnivore and vegetables and plants like an herbivore. Whew, that's a lot of big words. <laughs> but let's go see this bird Marco has. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Look at it. This bird is so big. <laughs> and colorful. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, what kind of bird is this? This is a West African or East African gray crown crane. And you can see that by the gray on the side of her body here. Whoa, a uh, West African? Whoa, wait, did you see that one? <laughs> oh, yeah. East African gray crown crane. East African gray crown crane? <laughs> That's a really long name. <laughs> but a really beautiful bird deserves a really cool, beautiful name. <laughs> Whoa. And what's that on their head? It looks like spikes, like an echidna. <laughs> yeah, you actually, a lot of people think that, but you know, those are actually tightly woven feathers, so they're not sharp at all. Just like that big, beautiful wingspan, every feather is modified for very specific things. She has feathers for flying. She's got feathers to keep her warm. She's even got feathers to attract the mate. But those feathers, it's a good symbol that she's an adult crown crane. Wow, <laughs> a grown-up. <laughs> Whoa, does this crown crane have a family? She does have a family. They're very social animals. And she is like the other ambassadors we talked about for her wild brothers and sisters. So we're part of her flock here at the bird show in the bird department. And she helps connect people with wildlife. Wow, 
These birds are so amazing. <laughs> Thanks for sharing so many amazing animals with us. <laughs> Thanks, Marco. Yeah, no problem, Blippi. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> it feels like we're in the jungle. Woo. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what kind of animal lives here. Hmm, that's not a platypus. <laughs> Whoa, you see what kind of animal that is? It's a Sumatran tiger. Yeah, they are really big cats that are really powerful. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Look, he's coming this way. Hello. <laughs> this tiger's name is Rakan. <laughs> and it looks like he's getting ready for lunch. Yeah. Tigers, they love to eat. They like to eat meat because they're carnivores. Mm -hmm. Carnivores, that means an animal that likes to eat meat. And they have a really big teeth that help them do it. Front teeth, ah, they grab onto their food and back teeth that help chew the food. <laughs> Woo, it's really good to chew up your food, especially if it's healthy food. Woo, Woo. <laughs> well, maybe he's not gonna eat lunch today. He's probably feeling a little bit sleepy and having just a lazy day relaxing in his habitat. <laughs> it sure looks like fun to be a tiger. <laughs> Whoa, look at him walk. Whoa, <laughs> he was moving really fast. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it is so fun seeing so many amazing animals. <laughs> We still need to find the platypus. We're gonna find him, I just know it. <laughs> hey, look at who I have here. This is B, <laughs> and B's my friend. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, B is a Bennett's wallaby. Yeah, a wallaby. Wallaby's kind of like a small kangaroo, and she loves tasty treats. She's eating some tasty leaves. It's called Gruya. Ooh, <laughs> she is so happy. Whoa. <laughs> look. Wallabies and kangaroos, look, they have really big feet, and they love treats. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that was a treat. <laughs> yeah, look, really big feet and a really big toe. Yeah, they have three toes. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> she's having fun eating these leaves. Hey, look, do you see right here? She has some really big teeth. She has two top teeth and two bottom teeth that are really big incisors. <laughs> so she can grab the Gruya and tear it off and munch it up. <laughs> Ooh, she's so cute. I think she had a lot of that, so maybe we can give her some sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, wallabies, they're herbivores, which means they really like leafy greens and sweet potatoes. Whoa, <laughs> you want a sweet potato? Mm. Do you want? Some lettuce? Mm, took a little nibble. <laughs> I think she wants some treats. <laughs> okay, I'll give her another treat because she's being so good. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? Look, B has a really big tail. Hey, B. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, B likes to hop. Hop, hop. <laughs> Ooh, there's a treat. I like to hop too. Hey, let's hop like a wallaby. Whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa. Hey, B, do you want another treat? Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wallabies are amazing animals. Yeah, and they're marsupials, <laughs> which means they have a pouch. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. Well, maybe we can see if we can find a kangaroo. 
They gotta be around here somewhere. Let's go! <laughs> hey! Whoa! Look at what it is! They're western gray kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, they're just like me, the wallaby, except they're not wallabies. <laughs> they're kangaroos. Mm -hmm. They're both marsupials, but kangaroos are a lot bigger than a wallaby. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go see. They want to nibble on some gruya. Come on. Hello. <laughs> hey. Do you want a tasty treat? Some gruya. Hey. Isn't this really yummy? You want some of this? Whoa. Maybe they want some hibiscus leaves. <laughs> they really like hibiscus leaves. Whoa, look at them. Whoa, these kangaroos are a lot bigger. Yeah, you see their ears? Their ears are so big, so they can hear really well. <laughs> and look, their feet are even bigger than bees. Yeah, a kangaroo is so much bigger, and their feet are so much stronger that they can go up to 30 miles per hour. Whoa! That's really fast. <laughs> hey, maybe they want some lettuce. Whoa! Yeah, or maybe, hmm. Well, we don't want to get too close because they don't like if we get too close. <laughs> hey, look, a little sweet potato. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Did you see their teeth? <laughs> really good for munching on sweet potatoes. <laughs> Whoa! They're so cute and cuddly. Hey, and do you notice something? Look, it's the pouch. Yeah, it's the kangaroo pouch right by their legs. <laughs> Whoa, and that's where little joeys, hmm, baby kangaroos, like to hang out. Yeah, they grow up in the pouch. Whoa, <laughs> I think I'm gonna give them some more treats. Hey, there's a lettuce. Isn't that so yummy? <laughs> really yummy. And healthy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was so much fun getting to see some Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> well, we still haven't found our platypus yet. Maybe we can keep looking and we'll find the platypus. <laughs> let's, let's go hop to find the platypus like a kangaroo. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animal lives here. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, unique and elusive. Hmm. <laughs> that means whatever animal lives here is really special. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Hmm. This animal has a bill like a duck and lays eggs. Hmm has the body of an otter and the tail like a beaver. Hmm. <gasps> it's the <a> platypus. <laughs> yeah. We found where the platypus lives. Whoa. It's really dark, but I know we can find it. Come on. Whoa. We found the platypus. <laughs> Look at him swimming around. His bill looks just like a duck. Ooh, <laughs> and his body like a little otter. Whoa, and look at his tail. It looks just like a beaver's tail. <laughs> so cool. Oh, look, he's swimming under a log. <laughs> he loves to swim. Ooh, hello. Ooh, ooh, we made it outside. That was amazing. We got to see the platypus swimming around. <laughs> we did it. Thanks for helping me find him. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> I
I had so much fun going on a safari with you. We saw so many amazing animals. Hey, what was your favorite animal we saw today? <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi.